one of the only people to go back in time and fight your younger self. If you can go back in time and give yourself some advice, what would you give yourself? What would you tell yourself? Well, you know, that when I look at my career and my life, I have to say that I wouldn't change much at all because I'm uh, one of those happy campers. I was very fortunate that I was able to come to this country and to really experience firsthand that it's the land of opportunity if you're willing to work your butt off. And I always was willing to do that, to take all 24 hours a day, sleep six hours, and the rest of the time I just work, 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 and study and, and improve myself. And so I've been on a great roller coaster ride uh, and then a, w a wonderful ride up uh, also at the same time uh, in my career as an actor, in, in politics, uh, in bodybuilding, in my personal life. And, uh, you know, I had my failures. And the key thing always is, is that when you fail, if it's in movies or in politics or in the personal life, you just get up, dust yourself off and keep going because a loser stays down, but a winner always gets up. What was it like for you to go back into movies after leaving government? Like what was going through your mind? And you say, hey, I'm gonna go do movies again. Well, in a way, it's kind of like uh, riding a bicycle. You know, you get on it and you, you get going again. It's not like you, you have um, forgotten how to do it or anything like that. It's an interesting switch, though, because, uh, you know, being governor and being in public service is uh, addictive. Uh, it's, it's such a wonderful feeling, especially if you like risks and if you have thick skin so you can take the beating, because remember, whatever you do in public life, uh, half of it disagree and half agree. Uh, whereas in the movies, you know, if people disagree, they just don't go and see a movie, but they don't attack you. Mm. Uh, but in politics, it's different. But I mean, I just love being involved in policy, in politics, and all the action that it created, and to kind of improve the state and build the infrastructure, do the healthcare reform, and do all those kind of things. Uh, and then uh, go back now in the movies and to start again with smaller films and work your way up. And now here I'm with this big movie again, awesome. with the franchise movie. It's fantastic. Awesome. Now, I heard a lot, I've been hearing a lot about Triplets, the, the twin sequel. Mm -hmm. What was Eddie's reaction when you pitched him the idea for Triplets? He had a big smile. Eddie Murphy had a big smile on his face. And uh, he liked the idea and uh, he wanted to know more about it. So uh, Danny DeVito and myself, we invited him over to my house for dinner. And we sat down and we had a wonderful time telling him the a story idea and everything and then the script was written so now we have a script uh, it's not perfect yet it still needs some work uh, but in the meantime also the conan script came in that is fantastic and is kind of ready to go so there is a lot of great options and the funny thing is is that all of a sudden i'm, I'm getting asked to come back for all of this roles into sequels even after 35 years of having done the first conan movie or 25 years after having done Twins. What was it like doing the action scene? Because you have a lot of physical, this is a very physical role. It is, it's a terribly physical role. Yes, it was a little bit spoopy. Um, so what it was like doing the action stuff was, I wasn't, I didn't have those skill sets naturally. Mm. So I had to do a lot of training to get into it. Um, and I had an amazing military advisor, which was hilarious, because I just kind of kept feeling like I was playing cops and robbers <laughs> when actually I was yeah. <laughs> trying to harness this. Um, and uh, yeah, there was lots of weapons training. And then the weapons training, the guns are very heavy. So I had to kind of try and gain some strength, some physical strength to be able to yeah. hold those guns and do those massive stunt scenes. It's hard it to keep brilliant. keep the gun here. It is, right? it really is, yeah, yeah. you've got to like, Get that nuzzle into your shoulder. How is it working with Arnold? Because, you know, he's so iconic. It's different between working with someone who's just like an actor or a famous actor, but yeah. he's like iconic. He is, yeah. And so there was a lot of, there was a lot of, uh, I think, fear before I met him for the first time because you you just don't know what you're going to, what's going to walk in through the room. And then you're going to act with for the rest, for the next, like, for quite a few months after that. Um, and so that was probably the scariest moment was just before he walked in the room. Mm. But then he walks in and he's just gorgeous and funny and lovely. And the father-daughter relationship that we got to play on screen was definitely kind of found its way into the off-screen moments, which was just really lovely and fun. I think I got away with a lot. You're known for the, like, so now Sarah Connor and then uh, Daenerys Targaryen, two great characters, two iconic characters. Mm -hmm. Do you ever wish that you can sort of like pull in different characteristics from each character? 
Um, yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. As in to play a whole other role? Or yeah, just, just like, yeah, like I wish I had this power like I have in this show, like something like that. Yeah, moments yeah. in, ter there are moments in Terminator when I was like a fire-breathing dragon would be helpful right now. And then likewise for Game of Thrones, there are, there are moments on that set that I'm like, mm-hmm, Pops, yeah. you want to just fix this? Take care Sit of this. Sit you, you want to take yeah. care of this. When you get, go into a film, you're working with such an iconic actor like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is are you do you get nervous or is it just like? No, I don't really. I don't think it's it's more you know there's there's anticipation um, when you meet someone like that, especially someone like him who's you know is such an icon. Uh, but uh, but no, I don't think nerves are the right word, man. It's 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 more about curiosity and it's great when someone like he kind of delivers on what you hope mm -hmm. to be the case and and uh, you know he's a lot of fun and. Cool to be around. I mean, you get to like spar with him and do these choreographed action scenes. Is, is, is that fun? Is that exciting? Yeah, I mean, of course. I love, I mean, action work, stunt work, all that stuff, fight choreography. Uh, I've, I've, I've had the pleasure of, of doing a fair bit of, and I, I always love that stuff. What goes through your mind when there's a mistake? When like, you when you accidentally get hit for real? Or you fall uh, It fight? happens, man. You know, I've been hit, and I've, I've unfortunately hit people for real as well. It's something you want to avoid at all, at all costs, but, um, you know, it's, there's a real element of danger and uh, yeah, it sucks, it's not cool, you know? There's nothing like uh, professional about going too hard in these sort of scenarios. I mean, the you know, safety is, uh, is, is key and we, we all try and avoid that. When I was watching this movie, the interaction between uh, Kyle and Sarah Connor was really great and I just told the person I was with, I said, wouldn't it be great if you could really fall in love in two days? Wouldn't that be awesome? I think you can. You think you can? I think you believe in love at first sight? I think that's possible. <laughs> I don't know about love in first, at first sight, you know, but I, I definitely think like... Two days I think you could. I think you could spend a couple of hours with someone and then think you want to be with them forever. It's in the back of the head, right? I'm a romantic motherfucker, dude. That's what's up. <laughs> yes, women who, uh, like reality stars that I knew before they were reality stars. Z and I are doing the music. That is not true. Yeah, we're but doing... Uh, no, you're not. Yes, we are. No, So Jay-Z's doing what he...